What's up, Brick Minds? It's Steven, and welcome back to another room update. And this week, we've got some pretty fun stuff to do around the room. We've got a couple of new uh, Lego Marvel or Spider-Man sets that I've uh, gone, gone ahead and purchased this week. We need to build those because I need the parts for some custom stuff. And we also have a little gift from Kaylin that we need to hang in the room here. But first things first, we need to go ahead and clean up this mess that I've been creating while working on some custom stuff for a Across the Spider-Verse scene in the Lego City that I'm excited to show you guys in this week's Lego City update. I'm going to clean this up and then we'll go ahead and get started with these projects. So recently I've been working on my custom Spider-Man, Spider-Society, and Spider-Verse characters in my LEGO collection. We obviously have a ton of different versions of Spider-Man here, and I even have some more that are on my wall that I just didn't include because they're kind of alternate versions of the Tom Holland Spider-Man from the movie, from the MCU. So these are kind of different characters themselves from actual different universes. Now you'll notice we are missing a couple of important characters from the Spider Society up here in the front. We're missing Spider-Man India as well as Miles Morales, the main character of the Spider-Verse series. But we're going to go ahead and take care of that today. We did go ahead and pick up the Miles Morales versus Morbius set because it actually has a Miles Morales torso print that we're going to need. I don't have that because the only one that I have is the comic book one, which is actually over here on this uh, spider wolf or wolf spider i believe that's wolf spider and this is spider wolf back here and then we have this miles morales um, kind of sweatshirt torso but we need the actual torso and then we do have a torso in this set right here that we picked up today that's gonna make a really brilliant uh, spider-man india minifigure from the spider-verse well i got both of the spider-man sets built we got a couple of nice cars there that four plus set obviously i could do without there's a nice print on that front piece there i like that white symbol that spider symbol the other car the miles miles car it's pretty cool it's got some nice little details that remind me of morbius which kind of tie the whole set in together but we need to find spots for both of these sets in the spider-man displays which right now we do have the mech with the penny parker minifigure in the city so uh, that goes right there we're gonna need to condense some of this stuff down here just a little bit maybe the villain stuff and hopefully get those cars to fit in here nicely especially the miles morales car that's going to go very well with this little miles morales mech that we have all right, that looks pretty good. So we'll fill in this little spot right here with the Spider-Man mech, and that whole little Spider-Man shelf will be complete for now until we see some more Spider-Man sets, hopefully soon in the future. For now, let's go ahead and hang this Avenger sign that Kaylin got for me up on the wall above my closet. Wow, that looks really good up there. Looks better than I originally anticipated. I really like it up there, and it's right around the same area as the uh, Lego Marvel minifigure collection wall. So that's going to look pretty cool once I kind of fill this whole area out. Uh, with minifigures and just different stuff that I'm going to be collecting over the next couple of years. We've got a lot of Spider-Verse stuff planned for the next couple of weeks to go along with those minifigures that we made, some CMF series, and then we also have some city updates where we're going to cover some stuff and we'll show off the minifigures that we made in that whole collection. I do have plans to fill up the two spots that we opened up in the collection here a couple of weeks ago. The one is for the Star-Lord helmet. We're going to buy that and build that here within the next couple of weeks, I hope. And then we're going to go ahead and build a Quinjet to display right here next to the Infinity Gauntlet to kind of finish off this Infinity Saga display that we have going right down here. As always, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not seeing more great LEGO content coming real soon. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.